Hello everybody. Thank you so much for sticking around through my uh, late start. Yeah, I guess I'm four minutes late. Terrible technical difficulties. And that's the nature of a Facebook Live. So, what I found is that my phone has been acting very strange lately. I think that I um, mentioned that before. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Lori. And my screen lock was on, so I couldn't get my picture to go from this to this. And I'm like, no, I am not doing a skinny live tonight. I've got too many things to show you. I'm super excited to be stamping with you. And um, this is not going to get me. So I kept messing with it. I messaged my good friend Dina and she said, make sure your lock on your phone isn't on so that when you turn it this way, things will turn. That's what was wrong. So, um, and how that got turned on, again, my phone has been doing the strangest things. I can be holding it and all of a sudden I'll just be looking at a screen and my email will open up. So I don't know what's going on. I think I need to go get um, some service on it, maybe. So anyways, I'm going to plug in here. I am going to get myself up on my screen so I can see your comments. And uh, yeah, thanks to Dina for... <laughs> like, I would have never guessed that that's what was causing the problems. It was just so frustrating. But anyways... We're going to be stamping some really cool stuff tonight. I have a lot of things to show you. I'm super excited to be here with you. And I am just about good to go. There we go. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Judy. Hi, Barbara from Tucson where it's warm. It's been raining and blowing all day here. It's not nice. And then I have to tell you guys, there's something in my kitchen that smells. <laughs> So like every time I walk in my kitchen, I'm like, I took the garbage out. I took the recyclables out. And then I thought, oh, is there a rotten potato? Because why would I be looking at potatoes? I'm not going to use them. <laughs> and there wasn't. And so then right before I went live, I'm like, I wonder if those cats brought in a mouse that was kind of, you know, half dead. And then it died someplace in my kitchen. So ugh. I'm going to go check that out when we're done. And um, I had a candle burning, and that smelled really nice, but I blew it out, and now it's all back. Hi, Nanette. Hi, Mary. Hi, Faye. Yeah, Rainy Seymour is right, huh? Faye says, hello from a Rainy Seymour. So, I am Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com, and I am coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Make sure that you share my video if you can, and um, whether you're on Facebook watching live or whether you watch later, or whether you watch on YouTube, you can share on YouTube too. I really appreciate the shares. And remember, sharing is caring. <laughs> so I have had a jam-packed week. We had, yeah, Julie, I think I have a dead mouse someplace. It's kind of gross. Um, I'll let you guys know <laughs> if I find something. <laughs> um, I had a crazy, crazy busy week. You know, Steve left, I don't last Saturday um, to go hunting. And I thought, oh, this is going to be, I'm just going to so like relax and enjoy myself. And I left stuff lay all over the house and I filled the counter up with dishes. And well, that didn't last that long because I don't like dishes laying around either. So I did unload the dishwasher and reload it. But it was nice just having to not worry about anybody else here. So that was cool. But I really didn't have much time to enjoy myself because I had a great big stamp camp over the weekend. We had 30 people attend. Friday night, Saturday morning, and that really kept me racing right up to the finish line. It was it was crazy. Um, and I don't know why I do that to myself. It's my own fault. I could have had a lot of things done ahead of time, but I seem to work better under pressure, and that, that is just the way things go for me. <laughs> so I do it to myself. I got no reason to whine about it. Anyways, we got that stamp camp done. My mom came to visit on Thursday, and we went out for dinner um, to celebrate. Did you guys hear the great news? So Stampin' Up! released the ranking for the year. Our year goes from October 1st to September 30th. So as of, t as of September 30th, that was our like, like our December 31st in a calendar year. And um, so Thursday, we did a Zoom conference with our teams um, me and a couple other demonstrators 
and um, we watched the uh, announcement that Stampin' Up! put out in a video ranking the demonstrators in the, in the United States. We watched it together on a Zoom video, and so we could see each other, and oh my gosh, it was so exciting, and I was just um, a little, um, how do I say, I was just really shocked at where I came in because I was number 56 in the world last year and that was just blew me away. And I figured that I was going to be a little higher this year. I figured I'd go in maybe the high 30s because um, I, did, I did have a bigger year than last year. Um, but you never know how other demonstrators are doing. Did everybody else have a better year too? You know, you never know where you're going to land in there. So when I came out, yeah, Melanie, when I came out number 26 in the world, you guys should have been here. I was like, ah! I was so excited. I was like, I was like jumping and and then we watched the rest of the um, ranking because we not only had the top 100 demonstrators in the world and thank you guys so much thank you um but we also had ranking for recruiting and i came in number 15 in the united states i came in number 17 overall under under the leadership category i came in at number 22 and at sales for u.s demos i came in at number 29 so Big shout out to all of you guys. Thank you so much because um, whether you attend my stamping event, events, whether you're in a stamp club, whether you're part of my team, whether you are watching and sharing my videos and my Facebook Lives and my YouTubes or whether you're just going to look at my blog, you guys are all playing a part in those numbers because as I get more traffic to all of these areas and the sharing is huge, that gets me out there further and I have more people watching and then that also means I have more people buying. And um, the buying part is the part that keeps me in business <laughs> because I have bills to pay. And I think I'm gonna have to buy a new vehicle soon because things are kind of going wrong with my truck. And and I smashed it up, remember? So I'm, it's embarrassing to drive. <laughs> But um, that hasn't embarrassed me enough to not drive it right now. But I'm, I'm sure it's going to get to the point where things are happening and I need something that's reliable because I don't have time to deal with all that, right? We don't have time to deal with all that. So anyways, it was a super exciting week. Um, I took my mom over to our Mexican um, grill. We have a, a, a Solea, it's called Mexican Grill, right in our neighborhood. And we had um, a margarita in dinner there, which was delicious steak fajitas to die for. And then um, Saturday night, I went out with my daughter Haley and her fiance and my mom to a supper club. Now, for those of you that don't live in Wisconsin or maybe the Midwest, I think that's kind of just a, a Wisconsin, Minnesota thing. Supper clubs are the best place ever for eating. Um, it's just a whole ambiance and there's just a whole thing with supper clubs. But we went out to a supper club and had dinner there and that was delicious. So... Um, my mom is feeling fine, Melanie. Thank you for asking. She had um, a tumor, whatever, removed from her shoulder. She had 23 stitches. But you know what? Um, other than a little discomfort, she didn't even take her pain pills. And I told her, I said, Mom, you can get a lot of money for those on the black market. <laughs> we had a big laugh over that. <laughs> so she's not going to sell them. <laughs> But anyway, she was feeling good right away. She says now it's really itchy. So she's like, oh, it itches so bad. But, and you know, I hope she has dissolvable stitches in because they had her, they weren't, they didn't take stitches out. They told her to come back next week. They'd check it again. They have to take out stitches now. That's going to hurt like a, you know what. Anywho. Um, so I kind of felt like a recluse holed up in my house. My mom came to visit. That was really nice. She took a painting class on Thursday and Friday. She does rose mauling painting. And, um, so she was gone all day. No, she was gone all day Friday and then all day Saturday. So, um, she had a good time at her class and she was glad to come and visit and it was oh and then Haley invited us over for breakfast this morning for sausage and french toast and I had to stop and get syrup because she was out <laughs> kids 
are so silly, aren't they? So I stopped and got some maple syrup because we can't eat that fake stuff. We're from Wisconsin where they make maple syrup and we must have real syrup. But I did have to buy it from the grocery store instead of from my friend Cindy. If you're watching, I had to buy maple syrup from the store. It was whole, it tasted fine, but it was it was made me feel bad. Anyhow, um, let's see what else happened. Oh, I've got some things to show you. I don't know if I showed this to you guys or not, but I just received my letter from um, Stampin' Up, signed by Sarah and Shelly. And those are real diamonds. And I've got two more to go before I, well, two and then some, before I hit my million dollars with Stampin' Up, which is just like, people are really, a lot of people are starting to hit their million dollar career to date sales. And um, when we do that, we get flown out to Salt Lake City with a guest, all expense paid. We get pampered. You get to go to Stampin' Up. We get to design our own stamp set. That'll be for sale to the public, and you get a $10,000 bonus. So I am looking forward to that. But isn't this nice? Diamonds, real diamonds. And then every time you hit 100000 they send you a new one with another diamond in it. So that's pretty cool. All right. I want to mention that Carrie... Schwanky, if that is your name, you are a winner from last week or the week before, and I need you to claim your stuff. So I do not have an address for you, and um, I'd like to send you your stuff. So yeah, Char says, then I can get a new vehicle. I think I'm going to need one before that, <laughs> but that's a really good idea, right? Um, we have, okay, so that's Carrie. Let me see what other things I have here. I've got three items. Uh, we've got that. We've got this. Oh, and Norma Garcia. I also need your address from last week or the week before. I need to send you your, um, what are these called? These are called Festive Farmhouse Elements. There we go. So I've got two people who haven't claimed their prizes. Let's see. Somebody just asked me, what exactly is the leadership one? Are you asking about the um, recognition? Leadership is, um, it's, a, it's a combination of a bunch of things. It is um, recruiting and how many qualified recruits you get. It's not just about people buying starter kits. That's really, um, that isn't helpful in that category. I mean, it's great that people are buying starter kits, but Demonstrators must become qualified once they buy a starter kit. It's also about promotions in your first level, I believe. Whoever is under me in my first level that I recruited, their promotions. And then I think also the combined sales of your team or maybe just your first level. So what do you do to earn re that recognition? I work my butt off, Vicki. <laughs> um... I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I sell stamping and scrapbooking products. Everything that I show you is what I sell, and um, I recruit people to also um, either be a discount shopper or sell Stampin' Up! products. Completely up to them. I have a lot of discount shoppers on my team, and I love them all. So um, you just do really good and you get recognized. Stampin' Up! recognizes. Actually, they went out to the first 250 in the world. And um, then they go down and there's a recognition point at the, first, at the top 100 in the world. And then the top 100 in the United States for sales, leadership, recruiting, all of that. So there's a whole bunch of different categories. So... Um, yeah, Vicki, hobby first, but now you're trying to build a business, and that's awesome. Um, thank you, Angie, for the share. Please don't forget to share my video. I always appreciate that. I have a few announcements to make. I just want to let you guys know what's going on. We are no longer have we are we will no longer have the Joyous Noel Designer Specialty Designer Series paper, the Festive Farmhouse Elements. Is that what this is? Oh, those must have been really popular too, hey? Oh yeah, these. These are these are a hot priority. Okay, these, the Joyous Noel Specialty Designer Series paper and the Santa's Workshop enamel dots. And I've given a lot of these away for um, 
various things. These are no longer available. They're part of the holiday mini catalog. Stampin' Up! decided to turn the number off for them. You can't order them. You can't get on a back order list because they won't be able to get them into the warehouse before um, Christmas. And so they're rather than... Um, Back orders are extremely, extremely expensive. So rather than to rack up a bunch of back orders, they have turned those ordering numbers off. So I just want to let you know that. Um, let me show you. I know this is going to be really sad because this was absolutely gorgeous paper. This is the paper with the, with the copper and the gold in it that is no longer available to order. So thank you, Lisa. And Sierra says, glad I bought two of the three of those. I know, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty um, pretty good purchase there. So just so you know, those three items will not be available any longer. We're not going to get them in and sell them. I know, Kathy, I'm really disappointed too. Um, believe me, when things like this happen, it really, really um, has an impact on us as demonstrators because... If you guys have signed up for my newsletter, you've been seeing the 12 weeks of holiday projects that I've been sharing. Well, I have future projects to share with you that are all completed and done and all the, you know, everything's done for them. And they use some of these products. So that's a, that's kind of hard. Thank you, Linda. I am plugged in. I appreciate it. Yeah, they do. The chicken wire is back in stock, Shelby. So um, I got that on my list to order. When I'm done here tonight, I'm going to be putting in an order for some supplies. So that was a great question. Remember that I have orders going in every Thursday. I had a couple of the sweetest people call me over the weekend to place orders with me. They do not... Um, like the internet they're not good with it it's very frustrating to them and that's why i'm telling you you can always call me and i will place your order for you i have orders going in every thursday so um, if you need to order something and you don't want to deal with that darn internet just let me know i'm happy to do that make sure you head over to my blog when we're done tonight at www.astampabove.com and click on that subscribe button. You'll get an email every time I add something to my blog. And this is the best way to stay current with everything. Charlene is asking, maybe the company can bring the papers back in the annual catalog next year. We normally do not do that. And the reason, the reason we don't is because we want new, fresh product coming in. We need new, fresh inventory, not has-been items that people have already, you know, hopefully stocked up on, Charlene. It's a great thought, but it's very rare that we do that. And we're just like a store. If you went to your favorite clothing store and they never changed their products or inventory, you wouldn't go there, um, continue to, to be a customer there because you've already got that, right? So it's kind of the same thing. Thanks, Rhonda. I'm glad you're enjoying the 12 week series. Um, I am in collaboration with some other very talented demonstrators and we compile these together so that we're working smarter, not harder, and we share. And so it's, it's a fabulous way to get so many different ideas and be able to share just some really spectacular projects for the holidays. So thank you and you're welcome. <laughs> and Sheila, you're welcome. You're welcome. I helped Sheila this week on her order too. So you are very welcome. Um, let's see, make sure you're clicking that like button. You can click the like button here on Facebook. And if you're watching later on YouTube, you can click it there too. That really does help in my number rankings. And when people do searches, I'm, you know, the more I get, of those likes and so on and so forth, the higher I get in that list when people are looking for certain things. So that's really helpful. Um, I I'll, Before I forget, because you know, I get so wrapped up in this that I'm just stamp, 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 and then I forget everything else. I wanna thank you for participating tonight. I wanna thank you for your support, um, your comments, your orders, your sharing my video. I couldn't do this and be as successful at it without you guys. So I just wanna know that I really appreciate you and appreciate what you do for me. And I'm so happy to be bringing you some great stamping ideas and um, and your comments and, and thank you. Just thank you very much from the tips of my toes to the top of my crown. 
Uh, let's see. I think I told you guys last week blog links changed. If um, I have a type pad blog, that's my platform, and the links have changed. So if you have a bookmark on your computer that you would go look at my blog from, it may not work. And I don't want people to think, oh, her blog is gone. Her website's gone. It's not. Um, just please, uh, instead of going to that bookmark, type in, type in that address and then rebookmark it because um, it's a long story and it's all techie and IT-ish and nobody cares, but things have changed. Let's just say that. Uh, let's see. Um, tonight I'm going to show you some stuff with the Snowflake Showcase promotion. And I also have a blog hop. Before I forget, I have a blog hop coming out tomorrow morning that is using the Snowflake Showcase. And you know, we have the Snowflake stamp set. And then we have the Happiness Surrounds stamp set. This one right here. So we've got this beautiful snowflake set, right? And then we've got this one. The two cards I'm featuring tomorrow are using that stamp set. And can I say when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's nice. When I saw the snowflake one, I was like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So I wasn't all, you know, as enthused with the Happiness Surrounds as I was with the snowflake one. But once I got it out and started playing with it, I love it. It's gorgeous. You're gonna love it too. Don't forget that when you order these products, not you don't have to order all of them, but when you order the stamp set, the framelits, whatever you'd like to get from these products, I will send you a file of 12 or 13 different projects using these bundles. So you'll get some really great ideas. It's got the ingredients, the dimensions, and um, written instructions with pictures. So when you order these products from me, you get a gift. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Okay, what else do I have here? Um, we need to... Oh, we need to talk about Betty Whitmore. I don't know if Betty's watching. Betty is from Holly, Michigan. And Betty was the big winner. Um, I ask you guys if your order is under $150 to use that host code when you're placing it. And that's how I am able to give out all this free stuff, okay? These free things. Um, that's how I'm able to do it is when you use this host code when your order is under $150. And I enter everybody who places orders with me with the host code or over $150, so you're all getting in there, into a drawing to win a free stamp set of your choice. And Betty Whitmore of Holly, Michigan was the big winner this, this last month in October. So I just want to send a congratulations out to Betty if you're watching. Um, she is going to love, what did she order? The door at home stamp set. So yeah, she made a very good choice there. Okay, winners this week for, you get, um, there's three ways to win. Leave a comment, and if you're coming on here, please make sure you leave at least, at least one comment. Where are you coming from? You know, like, hi, I'm Mary from um, Phoenix, Arizona. You need to at least comment once so I can get you in that drawing and I know that you were here. And this week for commenting, let's see. Okay, that was Norma Garcia. We have Sheila Schultz. Sheila's watching tonight. Sheila Schultz of Plymouth, Wisconsin. You are going to win a set of these farmhouse elements. And these are the items that were so popular were sold out of them. So yay you. And I do have your address. These will be going out in the mail tomorrow. And then for sharing the video last week, the big winner is um, Debbie Peach. Debbie is from Indiana. I don't know what town, and I do not have Debbie's address. So if anybody knows Debbie or if Debbie's watching tonight, you need to pop me um, a message. You can um, instant message me on Facebook. But I have got, what are these called? These are the Botanical Garden Jewel Embellishments, and here they are. Oops, can you see them? These are little flowers. I found these that I never used when I was um, searching for some other stuff, so that's always a good find, right? So that is for Debbie Peach of um, Indiana. And then 
I have a perennial birthday stamp set to give away. This is an awesome set. It's got 14 different stamps in it. And this is going out to Wendy Sue Winter of Rhinelander. And Wendy, I am really happy to be sending this with you. I wish I would have known that you were going to be picked as a winner. I just saw Wendy Sue on Friday night. She came to my... Um, Old Fashioned Christmas Stamp Camp. It's a two hour drive to her for her to come down from Rhinelander, but she made the drive and um, yeah, it was really nice to meet her because I'd never met her before. Okay, those are our winners for last week. And I think we're gonna start stamping now. Don't forget to share my video. Um, I do have a new host code open till the end of the month. You can always find this in the right hand column of my blog. Please make sure that you are um, looking for that when you go to place your online orders. If you happen to forget, I will usually catch it. You can just pop me an email and go, oh Kelly, I forgot to put that host code in. Um, I can get in touch with Stampin' Up and have them move your order in there so you get entered in the drawing to win a free stamp set of your choice also. And I want to remind you guys that I am going to be gone next Sunday. I will not have the regular Facebook Live because I will be leaving for Orlando on Tuesday to um, go to our Stampin' Up! conference. And I, I have plans to make a video like a Facebook Live that I will share with you on Sunday night. And I'm hoping I can get that done. I can't promise you anything because it's very weird. When we went out to eat last night, I came home. I was tired. I went to bed early last night at like maybe, I don't know, 11.30. And I woke up at 3 this morning. I barely slept again for another half an hour. I've been up since 3 this morning. This daylight savings times has me all crazy. And Sandy's asking if I am packed yet. Sandy, I never pack until the last minute. Otherwise, I take way too much stuff. I am writing a list. I have a list so I don't forget stuff, but I usually pack at about midnight, the night I'm leaving in the morning. <laughs> I know that would probably make most of you insanely crazy, but um, that's how I operate, and it works really good for me. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Rhonda, I've been up since 3 a.m., so <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. I did fall back asleep briefly, but um, it really bothered me that I didn't have the time to get my 12 weeks of holiday series out before the end Friday. You know, usually Friday is the last day. And because of the stamp camp, I was so darn busy, I didn't have time to do that. So um, it really bothered me. And when I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning, I grabbed my laptop and I sat in my bed and I did my 12 weeks of holidays. <laughs> That's what I was doing at 3 a.m. So... <clears throat> Yeah, Cindy says she's seen my luggage. Cindy is an amazing packer, and she can um, go on a week-long trip with just a carry-on, and I can't, I can't do that. It's not in my jeans. I have to take too many jeans. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I want to let you guys know I'm going to be gone next Sunday. Um, while I won't be on Facebook Live, I am hoping to record something that I will schedule to post at 7 p.m. next Sunday because I know you guys have told me so many times, so many of you, that you love, love, love um, Sunday nights with me. So I thought, oh, I hate to break that up, right? Wendy Sue says she has three inches of snow. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, it was snowing a lot of places here today in Wisconsin. All right, so let's see. Oh, I got some stuff on here that makes no sense. So I'm not even going to talk about that. I think I need to show you the cards that I got this week. And Heather Kohler, I think Heather is watching tonight. Heather, let me see if I can get it open. Heather sent me this super cute Halloween card. And um, it just says, thank you for everything you do. Thank you so much, Heather. That is so nice of you. Everybody loves getting a card in the mail, right? And then I got this card from Luba Balez. I don't know how to say Luba's last name, but um, this was so sweet. This is actually a photograph of the tree that is outside her stamping room, she says. And she's thanking me. She was the winner of um, the 20 pack of homemade cards. So, 
When will the demonstrators get to see the new catalog? We will be seeing it this week in Orlando. <clears throat> But otherwise, new catalogs come out in December for occasions just for demonstrators. But remember, this isn't a demonstrator forum. This is a customer stamping forum. So um, if anybody would like to get their hands on that um, new mini catalog that we're going to see on December 1st, all you have to do is buy a discount shopper kit and you can get your hands on it. Um, let's see. Uh, Debbie, hi. Thank you so much. The next card that I received was from Patty Chenille, and I told you guys about Patty having the fundraiser for um, a coworker that had cancer, and she was using the Glad Tidings kit, and they went on back order right before she was ready to order 50 of them. So Patty sent out this beautiful thank you card thanking me for donating my kit for that. She is a sweetheart, and I'm getting, I'm, I'll be seeing her. Oh, I hope she's there this week. She's a school teacher, so I know it's really hard for her to take off work. Am I the one who made the pocket cards? Yes, Cynthia. I showed a ton of pocket cards last week in my Facebook Live. I hope you enjoyed them. Then, Kathy Rowland, I have this cute card from her. Now, watch this. The lady pops down, and she goes through the slit to open up. Isn't that clever? I love it. And Kathy sent a thank you card for thanking me for what I do and for inspiring her. So thank you, Kathy. That's really sweet. Okay. And then I have a card here from my friend Sue Molden. She used her paper pumpkin kit to make this cute card. So this was the um, September paper pumpkin kit. Isn't that adorable? Sue sends me a card just about for every holiday, and I so look forward to that. So thank you. Okay. Oops, I'm going to put Heather's card up here, too. All right. Oh, wait. We have one more card from Michelle Mock. And, oh, this is really cute. This uses the um, Toil and Trouble. Isn't that sweet? Happy Halloween from Michelle. So that's also another great card. Thank you, Michelle. <clears throat> okay, that's it for that basket of goodies. And then I have a few more things to show you. This month's paper pumpkin kit, you guys, was so, so much fun. This is what Stampin' Up! had in store for us. I can't remember if I showed you these or not, but if I did, I'll go through them quickly. Oh, whoops. Here's another one. They were really pretty and a lot of fun. And then here's an, here's an alternate idea. And I actually have like 18 or 19 alternate ideas now I'm sending out each month to all my Paper Pumpkin subscribers. This is another alternate idea. And then if you guys missed my um, video, this is my candy bar wrapper. Isn't that cute? The ribbon holds the candy bar in there, and when you pull on the ribbon, it pulls the candy bar out. These are great little stocking stuffers, and I made this for a blog hop to go with this. Let's see. Let me get it tilted right so you can see it. There we go. Everything's backwards for me, so it's really kind of strange. And so I use washi tape to make this tree. Everything's on my blog. Here's another washi tape card. And another washi tape card. Washi tape on cardstock for this one. Here's another alternate idea with that paper pumpkin. Yep, here we go. I put a feather on the inside and I have this. I know Dawn says she can't wait to see that November paper pumpkin. Me neither. I am excited. And this is my little 3D item. These are our little pillow boxes, you guys. And they are just such good quality. I absolutely love these. Perfect to fit some candy with the gift card or holder in them. This is a product that you buy. It's not a die. It's um, got, I don't know, five, seven, eight, ten of these boxes in a pack. So they're called pillow boxes. But I just wanted to share those with you. Those are all items that I made in the last couple weeks because I forgot to do it last week. Did the pocket card at the Senior Center on Saturday. She had eight ladies and they loved it. Well, good for you. That's awesome. It is a super easy card. I actually um, have 50 of them going with me to Orlando as one of the swaps that I'm in. I needed 50 cards and they were so easy. 
So that was funny. Um, fun. Not funny. It was fun. <clears throat> Hang on a second. I'm just going to clean up some stuff here. And what should I do first? I think first I'm going to show you this little tip. And, um, oh, thanks, Tiffany. Tiffany says, I love how you decorated the inside of the paper pumpkin alternate card. I'm really big on decorating the insides of cards because I don't think the party should end when you open a card. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> That's the way I feel about it. Um, I am going to show you a tip on a card that we made last week. And I just thought this tip would be really helpful. This was one of the cards that we did um, at my stamp camp over the weekend. And I found a really easy way to help people speed along making this card. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, I'm going to flip my phone around. If you get motion sickness, you're going to need to close your eyes. Everybody, I think it's time to take a drink, don't you? Janine, have a good night at work. It was great seeing you this weekend. Janine got to come to the stamp camp. Um, thanks for tuning in for a little while. And what are you guys drinking tonight? I've got Pepsi. When I get back from Orlando, I think that Pepsi is ending because I think I've gained back almost all the weight that I lost over the summer. I'm really bummed about it. But that's for another time. I'm going to have one more week of fun. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're flipping over now. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. And uh, I'm going to turn you around. Ooh, that was seamless. Let's see if I can get you in the holder without disconnecting you. And we have a winner here. I have to turn my phone around, so hang tight. So we're not backwards here. I'm going to turn off that light because that puts a glare on things that makes it not good. There we go. Okay. I think we're good. All right. So um, here's what I have to show you. This is the card that I showed you last, I believe it was last Sunday. And I just wanted to give you some really nifty tips on this because I don't believe that I showed this to you. I think this is something that I came up after word to help. So we, um, you know, when you have a lot of die cutting at stamping events, it can really prolong the amount of time that it takes to um, for people to get their projects done. And then they, you know, they start getting tired. And we always try to find the quickest way for people to do things so that they're not losing interest and getting bored with it or just getting exhausted and their mind is like, oh, I can't deal with it anymore. So... <laughs> What I did is I made up this template. Well, first of all, I took the die for the little Santa Claus dude here. I took that die and I cut it out 30 times. I cut 30 of them, okay? And I also die cut 30 of these circles. And then I made a template. So the way that you make the template is you put a piece of cardstock in that is going to be the same size as the cardstock that you're using here. Well, this part doesn't matter. This is the template. But um, I took this and I figured out where things needed to be. And then you guys are aware that we have stampin' spots that you can use our reinkers with to ink up any color that you need. These are really nice for working with the stamparatus. And so what I did here was um, I inked this up. This is real red. or No, I'm sorry. This is Poppy Parade. This one is black. And it makes it really easy to ink up with two different colors, too, even when your stamps are close together. And then I stamped that. Okay. Oh, well, that was dumb. Um, <laughs> I say that because this is not the piece that I wanted to do that with. I wanted to do it with this one. So let's try that again. Yay! Yes, Kelly makes lots of mistakes. So here comes my Santa Claus. I'm going to do black here. And this is Memento ink because we used the um, Stampin' Blends to color these in. So we used Memento ink. And then I've got the red or Poppy Parade. And now I'm going to stamp that. Okay. Then I took this over to my Big Shot and I die cut it like this. 
this is the piece that I'm going to leave in here so that when all of my stampers need to make their images die cut, here comes that little Santa Claus dude. Here comes my circle. And I think that that's a stays on ink pen. Hang on. My little ink spot is kind of dry, so I'm going to use my big memento ink pad. I'm going to ink this up now. So what I did was I die cut 30 of these, you guys. I die cut 30 of these images, and then you can bring them back into your Stamparatus when you make a template like this, and you can stamp them perfectly every time. Look at that. Perfectly in place. Perfectly in place. And now I'm ready to color and mount this on here and make my card. And the reason why I wanted to show this to you is because it used to be that I would never ever consider making like 50 of these for my Christmas cards because you have to stamp this guy, then you have to put the die on it and run it through your big shot and sometimes the die moves and then it's not perfect and then you're, you know, and na 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 blah 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 blah. But by doing it this way, I had 30 of them. Bam! Ink it up. Stamp two at one time. This is like mass production heaven, right? So that's what I wanted to show you about this card. And then this side over here, of course, is the inside. I just took this layer and I just put it right over this template. You have to make sure this is up in the corner every time, right? I just put this in here for my card inside, inked that up, stamped it. Um, I didn't have this on here because that's it doesn't need to be straight. It can be crooked, but these things I want to be straight. So I hope that's helpful, you guys. Um, I've got Renee asking, if we order from you using today's number, when will our order arrive? Do we have to wait until the end of the month when the class closes or does it come timely? Oh, no, no. Your order goes right into the picking line, Renee. So you don't have to worry about that. And it depends on where you live as to how long it takes your order to arrive. Um, I am in Wisconsin and our orders are coming out of Salt Lake City. It takes approximately seven days for the orders to get here. So if I order tomorrow on Monday, I will have my order by sometimes Friday, but most of the time by the next Monday. So it takes about seven days here. And if you're closer to Salt Lake City, then it takes less time. But no, your order, your order ships out right to you individually. Nothing is held up when you use that hostess code. So don't worry about that. But that's a great question. It used to be that if you had a code for a party, it would stay open until your hostess closed it. But that's not the case anymore because you're ordering online. Your order gets shipped directly to you right away. So great question. Okay. I'm loving these little ink spots, and let's see. Just so you guys know tonight, we're probably gonna run long because I got some really cool stuff to show you. But these are the little ink spots. They come five in a pack, and they are called Uninked Stampin' Spots. The item code is 141822. Now, we don't give out item codes too much anymore because when you go online to place an order, you can just type in the search engine, Uninked, and these will pop up. So that's why we're not too big on the, on the um, item codes anymore. Okay, let me move this off to the side so we can keep going here. What do we want to make next? Take a drink, everybody. Just take a drink. I saw somebody was drinking Captain and Coke. Don't drink too much of that. I want you to be able to remember what we're doing here. Okay, I think we're going to tackle this little beauty. And... I promised you guys a gift card holder box tonight. And that is exactly what I am going to give you. This is the cutest little thing ever. And I have a special going on with this. So I'm excited to be sharing that with you too. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot to show you this. Did I show you guys this grid paper? This grid paper, you tear these pages out and it fits perfectly into... Your Stamparatus. I might have shown you this last week, but I don't remember. I don't remember a lot. <laughs> it's a problem. That's what I have right here, is the grid paper. 
and it just fits right in here. It protects your little foam mat if you're using that. Um, you get a whole pack of this, and I just love it. I love having it. It's a great, um, a great pack of paper for your stamparatus. Okay, let me put these back. Make sure you're keeping those magnets away from each other so they don't smack together and break. And here we go. All right, back to back to what we were doing. I don't need that anymore. Okay, Spirited Snowmen. This is in the Holiday Mini Catalog. And it is a super, super cute winter stamp set. Now, you can certainly use it for Christmassy stuff. But it is perfect for just winter. Because it says, you know, fr your friendship warms my heart. Winter cheer. Love never melts. So there you go. Oh, you guys are drinking some good stuff. Vodka, soda. Then we got some Pepsi, some ginger ale, strawberry lemonade. I usually drink raspberry lemonade, too. All right, so I'm going to give you some dimensions. And by the way, um, I hate it when that glares at you like that. I'm so sorry. Um, I have, I will have dimensions, and I will post them in the description of this video. Once the video, once we're done with the live tonight, then I go back in and I edit the description where it says... 11 4 18 the date on it. I'll go in and edit that and put my links in there put all the dimensions for the things we're making So except that Santa card you guys can go back to last week and find those dimensions under that But here's what I have. I have a scrap of this velveteen paper This is part of the snowflake showcase the white velvet sheets these come 12 by 12 you get two of them They're acid free and lignin free and they are they're like velvety. I know you can't see this, but just take it from me. It feels like a soft little bunny rabbit. <laughs> I think this would be perfect too for Easter bunnies. So keep that in mind. All right. I've got just a scrap of that. And then, hang on, I got to find my little cheat sheet. I've got <coughs> two whisper white layers. <coughs> hang on. I have a tickle in my throat. And it's not going away. <coughs> Every time I breathe in, it like wants to get me again. Gosh, we might be done. No, I'm just kidding. Believe me, I will power through it. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Maybe. Maybe I should eat some chocolate. <laughs> That's all I have on my desk here. I think there's a Hershey Kiss someplace. I really can't talk. Two and three eighths by three and three quarters. Two of these. Sorry about that. I think I'm better now. And then the window sheet is two and a half by three and seven eighths. And I know that's hard to see because this is clear. We got that going on. One thing that I am missing here. <coughs> oh, here comes an oval framelit. I've got some markers, some ribbon. And then the excited, exciting part, before I forget to tell you guys this, <coughs> everybody placing an order while I'm in Orlando starting today, I will be back next week, Monday, um, everybody placing an order is going to get a kit, meaning you're going to get a kit with everything in this to make one of these boxes. So, woohoo! And you'll be able to refer back to this video to help you make your box. Okay, what I have here, and I have a template, so don't worry about that. Is that still glaring? Yes, I hate that glare. That makes me crazy. All right, I'm going to get rid of this so you don't have that shining in your eyes. Okay, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I just missed a whole bunch of um, messages. Amy can't decide about this suite. Um, Amy, if you're a demonstrator, it doesn't matter because you say you have no customers. Um, so why would you not want to buy this? If you're not doing this for customers, then you're going to have this forever to stamp with, right? So... 
yeah. Anyways, I just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> You're going to have this in your, in your arsenal of stamping supplies for a very long time. Yeah, Rhonda, great. I'm glad you could you could hear the difference when I rubbed the paper. Yeah, it's really, really, really pretty. Okay, this is the template for the box I'm going to make. You will be able to refer back to this. Remember, every Tuesday I post all the details for the cards that I make in my Facebook Live on my blog, www.stampabove.com. So every Tuesday I do that. So you'll be able to see a picture of this. After I'm done with my Facebook Live, you can also come back and you can re-watch the Facebook Live on my Facebook page. And you can pause, you can fast forward, you can rewind. All of that's available just like YouTube. So, okay, here is our template. Now, I have already scored my piece of cardstock. This is 10 and 3 quarters by 6 and a half. The first thing you want to do, and this is very, very important, is you want to score or to burnish your fold lines, especially for the first couple score lines here. Let me move my things out. Okay. Jenny says, Amy, do you think you will use it for personal use or not? That's how I decide. And that's a great way to decide. I have to tell you, the framelits that are in this um, Snowflake Showcase, unbelievable. We used it at my um, stamp camp over the weekend to make four different cards and a belly band for a clear box to make a gift set. And, and um, they're just amazingly beautiful. The dies, the stamps, and both stamp sets, the happiness surrounds as well as the snow is glistening, are just incredible. Okay, here we go. I've got everything scored here. Now, what we're going to do is right in this first panel, we're going to cut die cut this oval. So let me bring my big shot in. And I wanted to show this to you guys rather than just have it done through the magic of TV. <laughs> I love saying that, but I thought it was more effective if I were going to show it to you. Okay, now, this piece of cardstock barely fits through the big shot. You have to fold down this tiny top tab, and it'll fit in here. Your die is going to go right here. And I'm just going to center that as well as I can. Fold this over. And then you can use some tape or some washi tape to hold this down in here so it doesn't move. Here we go. And I think I did a pretty good job. Whoops. Hang on. All right. My husband asked me if I had my Facebook Live tonight. I was wondering if he was going to try and tune in. He has internet where he's at. I mean, they're out at a cabin, but I mean, his phone is pulling in a signal so he can text me and snap me on Snapchat. But I was like, hmm, I wonder if he's going to watch tonight. All right, so there we go. We've got that oval cut out of this piece right here. Next, what we're going to do, you know, this is a box. And so we need to do box things to it. Um, let me look at this for just a second because I think I just did it backwards, didn't I? Yep, I did. Okay, so that's not going to work. Hang on, because I have more. Don't you worry. <laughs> we're going to start over. You need to pay good attention. And I know Renee's laughing at me right now because she she got to start over on hers too. Okay, so I need the bigger the bigger panel on the left and that's where my oval gets cut out of. So make sure you pay really close attention to that. And I'm just going to do this here and here and then I'm going to fold this one down. And yes, it's good to know that we're all human, right? <laughs> Yeah. Um, here we go. Again, I'm folding over this little tab right here so this will fit into my big shot. 
I'm going to bring this oval. Oh, and let me measure this for you guys so you know which one I'm using. It's the one that almost fills up the entire thing. From inside to inside is three and a quarter inches. So that'll help you to know which oval I'm using. I always like to know those little tips, right? It's like anything to make it easier. Why reinvent the wheel? I don't, I don't want you guys struggling to do stuff when I'm showing it to you. And I could have given you an easier path. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if Kelly can do her box right this time. Okay. You can save this for something else, right? All right, here we go. Now we're now we're on a roll, people. And now we're going to cut. So we're gonna cut. Oops, we're gonna cut here. Cut out those little slivers. If you don't want to do the little slivers um, until you're putting your box together, that's fine. That's when you know where you need the little slivers at, but they just help things tuck in and fold better. And now this one, just gonna cut a little sliver right here. Then I'm bringing in my big scissors because I can cut longer areas better with these than the short ones. There we go, cut that right off. We're gonna do the same thing up here at the top. And again, you're gonna be looking at the template when you do this. And this is gonna help you to know where to cut and what to do. There we go. And then we're going to cut right here. We're gonna leave this little tab on only this, this piece right here. The rest of this tab gets cut off. So I'm going to cut on this score line and this score line. We're going to cut this piece right out of there. You want to make sure this is kind of nice and straight because it's the edge of the front of your box. So take some time and do, do a nice job on that. I'm going to cut this off and we're going to cut this off. Now if your head is spinning, don't worry. You're going to have this to look at when you make your box, okay? So don't panic. All right, let's get all the bits and pieces out of the way here. And here comes our box. Now, I had burnished the edges on that other one that I messed up. So now I have to do that here. Carla Adams from Chippewa Falls. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I see Sharon's on here too. And then we're going to do these. And again, I like to get a good crisp burnish. This one I already did, but I need to do these and that one. I love making boxes. I think it's just incredibly clever when you can make a box out of paper and come up with something that looks really cool. Did you catch that I didn't do my little slivers up here? I need to do that, so hang tight, because otherwise this won't go together very good. This will make your life a lot easier. Well, this one will make my life a lot easier, but you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. Now, remember we have a piece of window sheet and I'm just going to grab my mini glue dots and I'm going to use my bone folder because these come off the bone folder really nicely. I don't know exactly. It must be the bone that makes them not want to stick to it like, you know, crazy. How are we doing? Do we have any questions? Sharon, it's Sharon's 67th birthday today. Well, happy birthday to you, girlfriend. That's awesome. You go. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. I love birthdays. I just yelled at my friend, Kathy Miller, because she was at my house last week on Thursday. She stopped over, and I invited her to go out to eat with me and my mom, and she said no, that her and her husband were going out to eat, but she did not say a word about the fact that it was her birthday. And I knew her birthday was on November 1st, but I just didn't really 
think about it while she was here. So then I yelled at her. And I'm like, why do you tell me it was your birthday? And she's like, oh, I don't like to make a big fuss. You should always make a big fuss about your birthday. It is your one special day a year. I wear my happy birthday crown, not this one. I, oh no, I have another one. I wear a crown all day long that's rhinestones and it says happy birthday in fancy letters. I wear it everywhere I go. You guys, you need to take advantage of the whole birthday thing, right? <laughs> I think everybody should. Okay, so... I have my mini glue dots here for my window sheet. Now, the one thing I want to tell you, the reason why you need to fold on these edges before you bring that oval in here to cut it is because if you don't fold these down, you cannot get these tiny little slivers that are left over to fold properly. That's a problem. It doesn't look that great. So if you fold on those lines before you die cut this, you're going to be in business. All right, so here we go. Now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. We have our box ready to roll, but now we have a couple things to do to get ready for this. So we've got two different pieces of white here. Oh, I forgot to get out my ink pads. Hang tight. Um, here's my balmy blue. I've got my this here. All right, you guys, hang on just a second. I gotta run and grab something. Take a drink. Okay, we are good. Oh, where's my stamps? Hang on a second, I had them out. Did I, I think I put them in the wrong basket. Oh my gosh, this is going to be crazy. Uh-oh. Did you guys see him? Hang on. Take a drink. Here they are. I set them off with the rest of the stamps from my stamp camp. Sorry. This was one of the projects we made. Did I say that? Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, we are going to take the little snowflakes that come in this set and we're just going to stamp them randomly around on the background of one of your white pieces, not both of them. Don't want to get too... Well, I guess you could fill it up if you wanted to. Like you can just fill it up with snowflakes. These are really cute snowflakes too. They're kind of a little whimsical. Then we're gonna take the other piece and we are going to stamp. Let me find my real red. Here it is. This is a brand new ink pad. We are going to stamp our words and I got this greeting out of the Peaceful Noel. I just really love the font on it. And I thought Holly Jolly and Bright went really good with the snowman, right? And then we're going to bring this little guy, whoops, this little guy in. And we are going to stamp him right down here in the bottom. So isn't that cute? I'm going to grab a scrap of white. Here's a scrap of white. And we're going to stamp our little ice skating snowman. Ha! Ah, I love him. Let me close these up now. So I don't drop my card in them, right? And you know what's really funny is I am missing... I already cut the snowman out and now I don't know what I did with him. So, so much for through the magic of TV. Oh, there he is. I'm like, oh, I wanted to do the magic of TV. Okay, so we don't have any dies for this stamp set. This does not come with framelits. So you, I just cut, I just cut around my little snowman guy and this is what he looks like. Turned out pretty decent. I left a white margin around the whole, all the image. Of the, of the snowman so okay I have soft suede let me get my readers on where did those go 
Here they are, so I can see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, that's so much better. <laughs> I hope you guys had just a wonderful week this week. Um, I know some people are starting to talk about Christmas shopping. I'm like, are you crazy? I can't do all that yet. I do that usually at the last minute too. Not like last minute, last minute. My parents were over the road truck drivers and they used to come home two days before Christmas and go shop for everybody. Like, it was crazy. But it worked for them. And uh, we always had fabulous Christmases. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, that end is not good. Hang on. I'm throwing that right in the garbage. I've got lots and lots of red markers. Let's see if this one's better. Oh, that looks beautiful. <laughs> You have a lot of people using these markers. They can get pretty worn out. And I think, too, people aren't as careful with these markers. If you really, they take, um, they're durable, don't get me wrong. But if you use a nice light touch, these are not Crayola markers. You do not need to push hard. You don't want to bend that tip over. Because, you know, they're kind of expensive. But I love that we have markers that match all of our colors, right? Because that's pretty cool. So I'm just coloring this in. This would be a good thing to stamp up a whole bunch of these and just sit down in front of the TV and color them. Because they're so stinking cute. And you're going to have to make these for your kids and your grandkids. And even co-workers. Like, you know what would be great is a gift card to um, Starbucks. Like a $5 gift card to Starbucks. That's a great idea, right? Okay, so we have that. Oh, I want to do the little balls on the end of his hat, too, because they're really cute. And then we're going to bring in this little piece over here. Now, I need to go get my nails done tomorrow before I go on my trip, you guys. Should I go with that really pretty, like, um, deep Blackberry Bliss color again, or should I do this blue again? What do you think? I like both of them. I'm thinking I might want to do that blackberry, but I do love this blue. What What do you guys think I should do? Let me move my comments up so I can see what's coming in here. Whoops. Oh my goodness, I have so many comments I've missed. <laughs> Michelle says she started doing her Christmas shopping. You go, girl. Good for you. Get that all over with. I just can't do stuff that early. I like kind of the last minute. And you know what? You get better deals closer you get to Christmas, too, you guys. Because stores are trying to get rid of all their stuff. Mm -hmm. But lot, lots of times, too, the stuff that you want to buy is gone. So <laughs> you can weigh that. All right, here we go. Here's our little, here's our little guy. Now, this particular panel is for the back. And I'm just going, ow, ow, I just poked myself with my pin right here. Be careful. I'm going to... What color clothes will I be wearing? Um, I wear a lot of black, but I think those colors really go well with just about anything. Okay, that's a good, that's a very good question, Angie. Okay, here we go. Now, this is your box. This is the part where your um, gift card is going to go in and then this wraps around so when you get done let me hold this open look at this what do you guys think gift card slides in here this is where our little snowman is going to go so we're going to glue oh one thing I forgot to do I have a little sliver this is like a one inch piece of um, our sparkle paper and I'm just going to take this and kind of round it a little bit like snow, like like a snow bank, like that, okay? I'm gonna glue that in place on the bottom of our snowflake layer. Just like that, okay. And then, yep, here's where we need to be, right here. We're gonna glue this in place Just like that. Here comes our little snowman. Isn't he so cute? Okay. 
this is the part where I have some things to tell you. Where'd my other... Hang on, I've got another bag of these someplace here, too. These are called wobbles. And I actually call them wobblers, but they're called wobbles. And you can get these big wobbles. And I thought... I put the bag... Oh, this is a little bag. Or you can get these smaller wobbles. Now, I haven't used these smaller ones yet, but I did use these big ones for the box here. And these give you the wobble sensation. So let me show you. There's a hard plastic side and kind of a more papery side. These are self-adhesive. So let me grab my take your pick tool. And where do I get these? I bought these through Amazon. And I had, I had no idea that they sold these until somebody told me. So I am telling you. <laughs> Amazon, yay. Okay, this will fit behind that snowman. I kind of put it up here. Okay, but it does fit. And then you're going to peel off. Look at that the backing just like that and now we are going to put our little snowman right in here ah, hang on here we go just like that look at him <laughs> isn't that fun <laughs> that is a wobble Super, super cute. I love things that move, right? All right, so let me show you how this all works. It's like, okay, Kelly, what now? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm going to first come up here and I'm going to trim the little sides off of my tab. And now I'm going to put this all together. So we're going to put some glue on this, this outside tab right here. Yeah, what do you guys think of this? Super cute, right? Did I miss any questions? My screen is not scrolling like it should. I'm not sure why it doesn't do that, but that's how I miss stuff. Okay, so I just put glue right there, squaring my box up. Just like that. Oops, I think I got a little crooked. Hang on. I gotta pull this over a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna put my fingers in there to push that tab down. And then this tab right here comes up here. So I'm gonna put some glue right here on the edge of our snowman. You wanna make sure this is nicely squared up. There we go. And then we're going to put this down. So I'll put a little bit of glue right here. What size are the large wobbles? Uh, hang on a second, I'll measure them for you when I'm done here, Mary. And then here is a gift card. It fits right in there. And then you close this up, just like that. And then here's where that velvet paper comes in. I used it to die cut a couple snowflakes from the, um, what are those, snowfall framelits, the ones that are the November promotion. So I'm just going to attach these with some mini glue dots because we have to dress this up a little bit, right? Yeah. One of these is really small, so I'm just going to fold that over. See, I, I kind of wadded up that little um, mini glue dot. And I'm going to, I think I'll put the smaller one. There are so many snowflakes in that set of framelits or thinlets or whatever they're called. It's amazing. Here's my other one. 
And I'm just going to set that right up, whoops, right up here. And here comes these velvet snowflakes are so pretty. Last but not least, this is what I did to my box is I brought in our silver edge metallic ribbon and I love this ribbon. Number one, it's a really good width. Plus the silver is pretty spectacular on the edge. Plus it's satin. So you can use our Stampin' Blend alcohol markers and you can color this ribbon any color you want it to be. And it doesn't leave scribble marks like regular markers do when you use our alcohol markers. So. I need somebody to help me. <laughs> Where's my husband when I need him? No, he's gone. He still didn't get a deer, by the way. I asked him today. He said the rut is not in full swing. He's pretty bummed about it. And um, next week it's going to be really strong. And that's probably the week he wishes he was going to be there. But he said he's ready to come home, which I thought was really sweet. And I can imagine he's making everybody miserable because he's ready to come home. <laughs> it's just kind of what he does. <gasps> Look at how stinking adorable that is, you guys. Woohoo! Okay, I'm going to measure these wobbles. These are, where's my ruler? Do you see my ruler laying here somewhere, guys? It's clear, so it's hard to, oh, I put it away. <laughs> That's shocking. So this wobbler is about one and a half inches long and one and a quarter wide. Can you see that? One and a half long, one and a quarter wide. Thanks for showing me the love. I appreciate it. If anybody came on late, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Please know that um, you can find all the dimensions and a picture of the template on my blog on Tuesday. I will be adding the dimensions to my Facebook Live post, or to this post. As soon as we're done here, I post this to my Facebook page so it doesn't go away once we're not live anymore. But I just want you to know that I will be posting all of the dimensions there so that if you want to stamp tonight and make some of these, you certainly can and you won't have to rack your brain to do it, right? Now, I want you guys to know I have a whole bunch of these all scored. You will get everything except the white velvet paper. I can't send you that because as a demonstrator, I can only order one pack of it. I don't have any more. But you will get the inserts. Um, you will get, you can use your own Whisper White to stamp a snowman on. But I'm going to give you the template all scored and ready to go with the two white pieces and I might even have enough ribbon that I can give everybody some of this. If you place an order with me starting now until I get back from Orlando on the 12th of November, all orders, $35 or more, will get this kit, okay? So I've got a whole bunch of them here to give out. If I have to make more, I will. Don't worry. But that'll be fun to get that in the mail. All right, I'm going to clean up my mess here a little bit so we can keep going. Yeah, you could fit chocolate in there, Gilmore. That's a great idea. Uh-huh. Okay, Shelby says when folding the box... Will the snowman still wobble? Yep, still wobbles. Is that what you mean? Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> Thanks, Tiffany. Tiffany says, amazing box, so stinking cute. Now, this, um, I found this little box online from, I don't know, a couple years ago, and I had to modify it because these wobbles are a little bit taller than um, the wobbles they used for their project. So I did make some different dimensions on this box so that that snowman wouldn't be touching this clear window with the window sheet in the front. And yeah, so super cute, right? Love, love, love this. All right, let me put this away. 
and I don't think I need this anymore. I'll just move this stuff over. I do need that. I might need this. And we are ready to rock on our next project. What do I have here? Oh, yes. Okay, here it comes. Oh, where did my... There it is. Which one is this? Oh, this one's, this one's a really quick and easy um, card. I have to see what time it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's 8.30 already. Okay, so you tell me. I have two more cards planned for tonight. Do you want me to do both of them tonight, or should I save one and put it on the recording for that I'm making for next Sunday's Facebook Live? What do you guys want me to do? Yeah, there's a big pause there because I'm waiting for your answers to come in. Okay. Um, here comes another quick and easy card. I just don't want to keep you guys longer than you want to stay with me. Because, you know, I don't want to be piggish about our time together. <laughs> okay. Okay, so everybody's saying both. Okay, I'm going to roll with it, you guys. We're going to do both because I wanted to show both of these to you. This first one is using... Ooh, look at those pretty colors, right? This first one is using the Happiness Surrounds stamp set. And hang on, let me dump these little things out. There we go. This stamp set that is part of the snowflake showcase so this is the happiest surrounds that's right here that's right here and um, we are going to be making a something other than a holiday card because I know like people need other cards too right I know it's holiday time but we need to move on to other things once in a while so I'm going to show you this really cute little card and Sharon says, oink, oink, go for it. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. Appreciate that. Because, yeah, I do feel kind of piggy when I'm keeping you here this long. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. I have this striped flower, which I think is just the cutest, most charming little flower. There's a lot of cool things you can do with it. Like, for example, <clears throat> you can stamp it like this. And then you can turn it and come in and stamp it the other way. And look how fun that is. <clears throat> what we're gonna do here is we are going to ink it up in the Memento Black ink pad and I'm going to stamp some random flowers here. Just like this. Now, don't forget, you guys, to share my video if you came in late. I really appreciate that, and that really does help me out a lot. Also, on YouTube, share, share, share. YouTube has a share, too. That's pretty cool. I'm going to come right down in here and do this. Okay, so we've got our black flowers. Then I die cut one of the stitch shape circles, and I'm going to stamp the... It's your day. I better stand up so I make sure I get this in the center. We don't want any mistakes, so I have to start out anything over, right? <laughs> then I've got Coast... Whoa, I just slammed that closed. I've got Coastal Cabana here with this cute little flower, and I'm going to stamp off once, and then I'm just going to come in here and stamp that kind of off to the side here. And then I'm going to bring in the Lemon Lime Twist. And these little images and I just thought this would make a nice little pattern on the inside of our card I want to start right in the middle and then go out from there and that just helps you ensure that you've got it you know centered properly but just a little something for the inside now this is our in color designer series paper. It's got polka dots on one side and stripes on the other. 
and I will show you that on the next card because we're using it there too. Hang on just a second. Okay, and then this die cut image is the same shape as these flowers. So what I've got here, oh, and by the way, this is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. This is a half inch by five and a half um, of the designer series paper, in color designer series paper. And then this one is a quarter inch by five and a half. I need to close something down on my... And then I've got all these scraps. I've got Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst, and Coastal Cabana. And I cut flowers out of this image with those. And through the magic of TV, <laughs> I do have them done. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take just a little dot. Now, I could have used our self-adhesive sheets for this, but I didn't necessarily want the whole flower to be stuck down. And I got a fuzz in there. Get that out of there. I want it to kind of lift up at the edges, and that's what it does if you only put a little dot of glue in the middle. You could also use a mini glue dot. That would work just fine also. But see how fun this is with this pop of color over the black? I just thought it was such a cute idea. And I got this stamp set out over the weekend when I needed to come up with some ideas for a virtual group that I'm in. I needed to come up with ideas to share with this particular stamp set. And I cranked out four cards like immediately. It was so fun and easy to design with. And I love it when stamp sets are like that, don't you? Sometimes some stamp sets give you some grief and you have kind of a hard time coming up with something. This was one of those sets that I could have just played with for hours and come up with just so many different ideas because it's just really easy. Now we got this flower hanging over the edge here and I'm going to turn this over and snip that right off, okay? And then we're gonna come in with the, I'm putting the glue on the striped side. I almost did something I didn't wanna do turn this over because I think this is a little longer than five and a half. Yep, it is. I'm going to just trim it down. I'm just going to put this little sliver of polka dotted paper up here. And now you can see we've got one of the petals from the Coastal Cabana sticking over the edge. And then let me wipe this glue off of here so I don't get it all over my scissors. Don't you hate that? I hate that. Hang on. Let me get that in the garbage. And then we're going to trim that. And then we've got this tiny little sliver. And again, I did the same thing. I'm gonna get glue all over my scissors. <laughs> Boy, I am a glutton for punishment, aren't I? It's like you would think she would learn, but I didn't. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't have too much glue down here. For Pete's sakes, Kelly. All right, last but not least. Hang on, I'm gonna put that in my little, this is a little magnetic bowl. You can get this. Mechanics use them to hold nuts and bolts. I'm going to pull out some dimensionals. I'm going to do a couple dimensionals. And a circle this big normally wouldn't need two dimensionals, but I am going to be wrapping ah, some thread around it. Let me close this. I've got some silver metallic thread here. And I'm just gonna pull off a bunch. I'm gonna wrap this around four fingers. And I like to put a lot of thread on stuff. Like if I'm gonna use thread, I'm gonna put a lot of wraps on there. Pull the back off of your dimensionals. <laughs> Denise must have shared again, cause she cared. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. I like to twist this. Whoops, hang on. Twist it like this. So now you've got kind of like a figure eight in there. Whoops. Let me see if I can hold on to it. And then I'm going to press some of it down into these dimensionals. Just like that. Okay. Um, let me wrap this back up. And I just put some tape on it to hold it in place. Then we're going to stick this to the front of our card. And I'm going to put it right down here. 
And I don't like the one that sticks out. Ooh, I just heard like an explosion. I hope that's fireworks. We had a house explode down by the lake not too long ago, and it was a gas leak, and the house just like completely exploded to nothing. Like there was nothing left in the hole is a basement. That was it. <gasps> Look how cool that is. And nobody was hurt, thank God. Okay, so last but not least, I have one more thing to add to this card before we're finished. And I don't understand why I had all this stuff out and now I just can't quite find it all. Like what happened to my stuff? Hang on, I'm gonna grab some rhinestones. Maybe. Find any. I've got rhinestones on my list too because yeah. I had a pack of rhinestones out here to go with my card. They disappeared. So now I'm using up these old ones, you guys. So we don't sell these anymore. And they were kind of annoying because you have to cut them apart. You can use a tool to do it too, but it's the I don't like working with them. <laughs> I like our new rhinestones much better. Okay. Oh, thanks for showing me the love, you guys. Love, love, love. I'm just going to put some rhinestones. This needed just a touch of bling, I think. And I'm going to do a couple little rhinestones right here. And one more right over there. <gasps> what do you think? Fun and pretty, right? And again, I'm using the Happiness Surrounds and the Snowfall Thinlit dies. Look at all of these dies. They're just amazing. Super, super cool. Okay, now I have one more project to share with you. So hang tight. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Oh, and um, Denise says they used the silver thread at camp yesterday and they didn't use enough. I know you really have to be generous. Oh, look, look, here's my rhinestones. <laughs> Does it make you crazy? Yes, that makes me crazy too. All right, let me move this out of the way. This next card is a gift card holder. You're gonna love it. Bring in my new stuff. Here we go. I like things to be nice and neat and orderly. At least what you can see. <laughs> the rest of my life is pretty much chaos, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I like you to be able to see nice and neat and orderly. All right. Let me get all my supplies out here. Here's that In Color Designer Series paper. Oh, and I've got a glare right there, so I'll just set that there for now. I've got another card to show you. Don't let me forget to show you this beautiful, beautiful card. And we're using that silver ribbon again. I've got a one-inch circle punch. The Snow is Glistening stamp set. And our stamps. So here we go. Oh, here's our layers. This is four and a quarter by e, uh, ten and a half. Let me find my little cheat sheet here. There it is. Four and a quarter by ten and a half. We're going to score this in a second, okay? Then I've got a piece of Whisper White, and this is four. Whoops, hang on. This one is not on my sheet, so let me, let me measure it for you. Yep, four by five. Oh yeah, I wonder why I didn't write that down. Four by five, and then we've got a piece of silver foil paper that is three by four. This is that Cutie Patootie In Color Designer Series paper. This one is three and three quarters by two and three quarters, and then this one is one and a half by four. And I'm gonna show you this. This is all the end colors from 2017. And look at this paper. It has berry burst, um, is it tranquil? Yeah, tranquil tide, powder pink, lemon lime twist. So here's the powder pink right there. That's where I got this from. Isn't it cute? So I use that. 
on this card right here for that little pop of color. And then let me move your comments up because, oh my gosh, I missed so many of them. My thing won't scroll. Um, yes, Joanne, go back and watch the middle of the video. I will be posting it as soon as I'm done here. I've got some tear tape too that we're going to be using. All right. First of all, we're going to score. So we're going to score this at two inches. Ooh, my stomach is growling. I'm still eating the food that my husband made for me. <laughs> well, I went out to eat twice. But other than that, I've ate the food that he made for me. He made me turkey and gravy and homemade chili and homemade stew. I'm still eating his food. So that was awesome. And then, okay, so two and then five and a quarter we're scoring. Okay. Get this off to the side. Then we're going to fold this in half, burnish that edge good, and then this one we're going to fold inside. And also you want to make sure you burnish that edge really good. We're going to bring this one inch circle punch in and we're just going to cut out a sliver kind of centered right there. Now one thing I did to my um, four by one and a half inch piece of designer series paper is I took, this is powder pink, remember? I'm taking Blushing Bride and I'm going to use that ink because it's just enough darker that it is going to really show up on this designer series paper. And this is kind of a little technique that I really love, but I forget to do it, is to stamp on designer series paper. If it has a mellow pattern, you can then stamp on it and it looks so cool. So I'm gonna do this. Oh, and then we're gonna take a little bit of this ribbon We're going to add this, not in the center, but just kind of offset to this side. I've got my piece of scotch tape to hold it, secure it to the back. You can also use mini glue dots. They work just fine too. Okay. And then we're going to glue this right here. Ah. There we go. And this is just kind of like a little accent on the side of the card. Now, one thing you may want to do is add a little, well, you know what? We could do a mini glue dot, too. I'm going to do a mini glue dot. Where did those go? Mini glue dots. Can't hardly wait to show you the front of this card because I think it's going to be pretty cool. I haven't actually made it yet. So this is, I'm just winging it. Whoops. I'm going to put a mini glue dot under here. You could also use your tape runner, add a little bit of adhesive to hold that down. I don't like that that was like kind of uh, all over the place. <laughs> you know, uh, like that. Is the pack of designer series paper in the holiday? That's a great question, Char. It is not. This is in the annual catalog by all the designer series paper. And it's called 2017 to 2019 in color designer series paper stack. We have all of our base colors, like um, the subtles, the regals, uh, the neutrals. They all come in this printed paper in those colors, which is pretty darn cool. That's one of those staples that I like to have in my supplies because, like, I needed just a little pop of something over here, and it was neat to use the polka dots. Oh, thanks, Amy. Amy said it's in the annual catalog. You are absolutely right. Lori, I need more paper. I know, right? <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> That's why I showed you those pocket cards last week, so you can use up all that designer series paper. Stop that hoarding compulsion that you have with paper and buy some more. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want to do. Okay. Hi, Verla. Thanks for joining. We're going to be um, wrapping this up here shortly, but I, um, you can certainly watch from the beginning as soon as I'm done. So here is the pocket for the gift card holder. Isn't that cute? Now let me show you what I did to the rest of this card. I love 
this stamp in the snow is glistening. I love, love, love it. And I'm going to take this and I like to just have it a little bit off the top and the side of my, oh, look what I did. Hang on. We well, got a fix for that. And I blew it because I used the wrong color. So that was an accident that turned into a blessing. That's why we have two sides. I'm going to use the um, powder pink for this part. I'm not going to use that darker color. There we go. How pretty is that? Look at how just, oh, so delicate. I love, love, love this. All right. And then I've got the Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world. I couldn't read that on the stamp. So I'm just going to take this and stamp this right over here. Yay! This is going to get glued in. Hang on, my glue wasn't really coming out. There it goes. We're going to glue this right over here. We're doing pretty good tonight, aren't we? <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> okay, so I didn't think I wanted to stamp the snowflakes on this front layer that I'm going to use here, but you certainly could if you wanted to. I just thought it might be a bit too much. It looks really good on that smaller piece, but I don't know that it would work that great here. But it might. I didn't make one. I, I, I haven't made this card yet, so this is just my opinion, and you are certainly entitled to yours. Isn't that pretty, pretty already? Okay, then, this giant snowflake, I took that velvet paper, and let me see if I can get it to... Yeah. You can, it's velvet. It's so, so pretty. I'm going to add some glue back here. Wink of Stella. Where should I do Wink of Stella? Vicki is talking about Wink of Stella. Okay, I am going to add this snowflake, so I'm just centering it on this layer. Wait for it, you guys. And then I'm coming in with the snowflake trinkets. These are so beautiful. There's two different kinds. You get 20 of these in a pack. We use these at my stamp camp over the weekend, so I only have two more left. These are also on my order that's going in tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow. But I'm just going to take one of these with a mini glue dot. And you can hear it. <laughs> Denise says, we can hear it. Yay. I'm going to put that mini glue dot. Whoops. <laughs> Stay there, you little bugger. Put that right in here. And this matches up perfectly with the flower shape in the middle. <gasps> what do you guys think? I think this turned out spectacular. Love, love, love. All right, before you go anyplace... Don't forget to share my video on Facebook. If you're watching later on YouTube, make sure you share it there. I really appreciate the shares. Don't forget to click on that like button, um, both on YouTube and on Facebook. That really helps me out. Our promotion this month is the Snowflake Showcase. This is only available during November. We have two stamp sets. You can buy each individually, one or the other. It's up to you. Two stamp sets, Snow is Glistening, Happiness Surrounds, the Snowflake Trinkets, 20 pieces in a box, the Snowfall Thinlit Dyes, 20 dyes in this, in this pack, and the White Velvet Sheets. All these items are only available during December, or November, sorry during November. So we've got this cute little box that we made and we use those snowflake dies on here. We've got this gorgeous gift card holder that we did tonight. And we've got a beautiful card using the Happiness Surrounds stamp set that's part of the November bundle. And then I gave you some great tips on the die cut images for this card and using your Stamparatus. Okay, does anybody have any questions that I may have missed? I would be happy to answer them for you. 
Amy says this gift card is exactly what she was looking for. Excellent. It's really easy to make too. So I'm glad that I, I took the time to show it to you tonight. I'm sorry, you guys, for keeping you almost for two hours, but doggone it, we had some important stuff to do, <laughs> right? That's the way I feel about it. Let's see, who has any more questions? I'm happy to answer them. And I am going to pull my phone out of here and see... Yeah, that's funny. It doesn't even give me any place to flip it around, so that's really weird. Huh. Very strange. Anyways, I was going to flip it around and talk to you guys, but I don't see how I can do that. Huh. It's asking me if I want to finish. Oh, there flip. Yay! Okay, you guys. Anybody have any questions? Like I said, I am going to try really hard to get a Facebook Live made, and um, I will actually put it on YouTube. I'll upload it from a private Facebook group, put it on YouTube, and then schedule it to run at 7 o'clock on Sunday. I'm going to really, really, really try hard to do that. But for now, I have a blog hop tomorrow morning. I need to get the pictures taken for that and make a video. I think I need to still make a video for those cards. I'm going to be using the Happiness Surrounds stamp set and the framelits for a color challenge with the color fusers. So make sure you check out my blog. Don't forget, if you are placing an order, you need to use the host code. And I'm going to just flip that around right now. There you go. So you can read it. Use this host code. You'll always find that host code in the right side column of my blog address right here. I appreciate your orders. I appreciate your sharing my videos. I appreciate your comments. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Oh, well, look at my hair. That looks kind of funny. <laughs> um, it's been fun. I'm going to try to maybe do a Facebook Live from the Convention Center in Orlando. I don't know if we're going to be permitted to do that, but you would not believe the incredible display boards. I know. And um, we shouldn't have any, um, what do they call that when we can't show anything until, you know, it goes live in the catalog. Um, gag order. <laughs> So I feel like we don't have any gag orders. So if that's the case, I'll try to um, show you some of the display boards. And I'll just run, you know, through them really slow so you can see all the cards. And then once I'm done with Facebook Live, once I post it to the page, you can then fast forward, rewind, pause it, do whatever you need to do to recreate some of those beautiful things. But I'm hoping to do a little something like that from Orlando. We'll see how it goes. I always have all these big plans that don't happen because um, they keep us really busy. There's a lot of chaos that goes on when we are at a convention. It's a very busy time. Everybody's like, oh, you're going on a vacation. Well, while I always have fun no matter where I go, I wouldn't call it a vacation because we are super busy. It's exhausting and so, so much fun. So, any other questions? Twyla says, great fun. See you in Orlando. Please make sure. Um, I should have my crown on. If you guys, any of you see me in Orlando, please come up and say hi to me. I would love to meet you. You will not be, I know some people are like, oh, I didn't want to bother you. Please don't even. You just come up and say hello. <laughs> All right. I think that I have answered any questions I hope so um, thanks Char for the safe travels I always have fun no matter where I go because I say if you can't have fun stay home <laughs> thank you guys so much you have a wonderful week and I hope to see you when I get back bye bye maybe <laughs>